we talk about price tags, the, it is zero price tag on the debt. We're paying. We're going to pay for everything we spend. So they say it's not, you know, people, understandably, well, you know, it started off at $6 trillion, now it's $3.5 trillion, now it's going, is it going to be two point nine. Is it, it's going to be zero. Man, talk about, talk about proving my sky is green theory day after day. Joining me now, the editor-at-large for Red State, Kira Davis, who wrote an awesome piece on this called The Great Pretenders. Kira, these people, look, I'm, I'm going to set aside the shamelessness of just telling lie after lie after lie, but are they bolder now than they've ever been before, or is it just me? You might say boldness. I would say desperation, because... Even we're noticing some of our counterparts, even in the liberal media, starting to go like, wait one second. <laughs> like, I'm all for <laughs> spending. I like spending. But like, even I, I'm not the smartest person in the world. But even I know that something that costs three point five trillion dollars has no hope of, of costing zero. <laughs> there's just there's never been a time in government when when something has cost zero. Uh, it doesn't even make sense if you just ponder it for five seconds. So they're, or even the liberals are, liberal media is going, wait a minute, um, we didn't mind when the president was making fun of Peter Ducey, but if he's kicking us out of the, the press briefings, that doesn't seem fair. Like, what is going on here? I think what is happening is that the policies, the, the policy reality that we're living here is so blatantly disastrous, is so blatantly chaos beyond anything that can be covered up. The only thing to do is to tell us not to believe our lying eyes. There's no other defense. Kira, before we actually get into your piece, and we're gonna get into your piece here, is it working to some extent? I mean, they're doing it for a reason, right? I understand it's not gonna work on Kira Davis. I understand it's not gonna work on a portion of the society, but I mean, let's just, not that I even wanna to toss stones at gross media outlets, but there are a lot of people out there who sit down at night and they watch CNN for the nightly news. Uh, when they read the paper, they're reading the Washington Post. Uh, that person is so misinformed, they live in a reality that is not even of this world. Well, and I think that those are the voters that they're trying to get with this blatant, you know, shift in reality that they're trying to push on us. And there's always the true believers. But I'm seeing so many, so many more people going, uh, yeah, well, but I can't ignore the reality that I'm living. It's hard to say, Jesse, I get it. I mean, I get what you're saying. You know, me and you, we're always going to take one side of this issue because we, we see the truth. Uh, but I think a big indicator is going to be 2022. And it's not looking good for Democrats so far, which I think is adding to the desperation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We know that what that guy, we know that the border patrol agent wasn't whipping that, that migrant, that that was the reins in motion in that split second of a picture that was taken. But, you know, the sentiment is still the same, but I mean, that doesn't matter either because they're the ones in control of the border. <laughs> like, it's not like you have someone else to blame for the border. They're the ones in, in control of the border. I just think that we're going to see uh, we're going to see the fruition of this in 2022, or at least the beginnings of, of what this is actually doing. It's not polling well for Democrats. That's why they keep change. That's why they keep doing this. We've talked about this before, Jesse, about why Democrats all of a sudden switched their message from defund the police to Republicans want to defund the police. That's another don't believe your lion eyes thing. It's just like, uh, we see that this isn't polling well. It's not going to get us anywhere for 2022. What do we do? We've got to blame Republicans. To a certain extent, it always works because the media is in the tank for them. But to another extent, it smells of desperation. And I always say I do believe at the end of the day, American voters will have their say and have their way. So we'll see. Kira, I'm going to play you this video of Jen Psaki because I have an opinion that everybody's going to want to punch their TV over in just a second. Watch Jen Psaki here. You, you touched on this, but uh, I'm wondering, you know, the El Paso Times has walked back their claim that border agents were using uh, whips to deter Haitian migrants. Um, this is kind of a, a controversy. Some people are weighing what is a whip versus what is a, a rain. Um, and the El Paso Times put out a clarification saying, clarification saying it was not an actual whip. 
Does that change anything for the administration in, in light of the, the statements that were made last week? Uh, I don't think anyone could look at those photos uh, and think that was appropriate action or behavior or something uh, that uh, should be accepted uh, within uh, our administration. There's an investigation that's ongoing. Uh, we'll let that play out, but our reaction to the photos has not changed. Yeah, what else Kira, is she going to say? I think, I, I think Jen Psaki is oh, outstanding in her job. Wrong. Oh, we got it wrong. We 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 are right. You guys are right. We totally jumped the gun on this, and we 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 gave you the wrong impression. What else is she going to say? It's the same thing liberals have been saying since uh, since all this meltdown. You know, every time a, a racist incident comes up and it gets revealed as a hoax, oh well, it's it doesn't matter that it didn't really happen. The point is, is that it could have happened. I mean, how ballsy for Jen Psaki to say, oh, we don't accept this. This isn't appropriate. Well, gee, if only there were some way that you guys had to control the border, if only there were some sort of position of authority that you guys had that could that could help control what's happening at the border. Um, gee, if only we had a vice president who maybe had been appointed to oversee what was going on at the border. Uh, I love how she's trying to make it seem like they are completely separate from what's happening at the border. Like this is just happening independent of, of the Biden administration. It smells like desperation to me. Uh, Kira, I think Jen Psaki is awesome at her job. Yes. I, and I know people think I'm crazy because everyone oh. hates Jen Psaki. But what's she supposed to say? She, she's, she's got the most feckless president ever. He's not even a fully functional adult. All the policies are a disaster and America hates them. It's been scandal after scandal. And yet she sits up there and lies as good as anybody can lie. I know people don't like her. It's not like I'm a big fan. I think she's really good. I always say that. In fact, I've never really gotten on board with the criticism of, of press secretaries because they have a job, right? Like everybody's like, they're just liars and they're paid liars and we shouldn't respect that. That is the job. You're the spokesperson of the company that you work for. The company in this case is the executive branch. So it's your job to massage the truth. It's your job to to speak for the people in charge in a way that's going to uh, be uh, uh, appeasing to your audience. So yeah, she's just doing her job. I can only imagine what she thinks behind the scenes. I mean, what she's going like, I've got to sell this. You told me to say this yesterday. So I'm with mm -hmm. you, Jesse. I think she's very good at her job. And I think she's just doing her job. I've never quite understood the vitriol that we throw at any given press secretary. Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.